Hi Marla, thank you so much for being with us. Um, Marla, tell, tell us something about you. For example, what was the incident happened in your life that you would like to share with readers? What are the things you should watch out when you're growing up? Um, something that I do remember was, uh, it was last, an incident that actually happened was when I was younger, around the age 11, 12, my mom started putting us in programs like YMCA, Boys and Girls Club, little camps. I remember it's Camp St. Andrews. And at first, I didn't know why she did it. And like I knew she didn't have the money, but she still wanted us to experience that. So I decided to go, and me and my brothers We just went and did it, and like thanks to her, we experienced a lot. Like we learned, like to try new things. We learned what we liked and what we didn't. And like since I've been going to that camp, I've learned that I love sharing my creativity to the kids. Like if they need any help with like costume making, beads, art, like I like I help them, and they always smile, which is like the best part. And I will like. My mom had to work like jobs. She still had a daycare that she had to take care of. She took my brothers to soccer practices, my sister and my other brother. And for me, I had to stay home and like help her with chores and help, like babysitting. So I like that incident really taught me that I sh need to be hardworking and take any opportunity that's right in front of us and just to go forth with like having a better life. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tell me, what is the one thing you did that anyone can do to achieve what have you have? What you have? Uh, the ambition and passion to what you love to do. Like if you're good at if you're good with like science or anything, if you could make any subject that you do like even better. Like I like using my creativity. I change things. Like if I don't understand a math problem, I like draw it out and then I try to figure it out. And that actually helps. So if you just like use your own way of learning, that's mm -hmm. how everybody can achieve. Okay, so you have a question. Uh, who was the most influential person in your life besides your parents? Mm. My tia Angelica, uh, as a young girl, she had to go through a lot with her family, especially since they always lived in Mexico and they moved here. Um, she taught me that being a woman is is very empowering. Like, she, she went the extra mile all the time. She did more than what she was supposed to do. She always she always fought for the things she wanted, like her like her job. She like always did more than what she's supposed to do. She taught me that a woman can be intelligent, um, intelligent, very empowering, and strong. And that's helped me because thanks to her, I've learned so much things. I've, I've gotten so much of her advice that I was able to pull through many of the things like that made me sad. So I want to thank her. Okay. Was there a teacher that inspired you in the classroom? Miss Janish. There is this one time where I wasn't, I didn't have the best grades, and she, like, she, we were at a parent meeting, like, it was actually back to school night. She was talking to my mom, and usually teachers would be like, oh yeah, she has little problems over here. But with her, she made me feel so smart, so like happy. She, I, like I've actually felt important, and I remember, to thanks to her, I remember um, there's this program called Global mm -hmm. Blimps, and I wanted to sign up for it. But I told myself, oh, I can't do it. There's 110 other people competing against me. Only 20 people can go. So what I did was I ripped the paper, I threw it away. But when I heard her talk about how good I was and how I had such passion for the things I loved. I thought, you know what, I should take an opportunity. And she mm -hmm. talked to me and she like made me feel happy. So what I did was I went back, I got I got a second chance. Someone recommended me and I think it was her. And I started writing my on my application and it 
it, in this application, you have to answer questions about your personal life, so I did. And I actually got an acceptance letter, letter and then I, I was able to go to Matagalpa and help volunteer over there for two, three weeks, actually. Oh, so I'm, cool. like, so happy about that. Okay, great. How do you find that you are accomplishment and how is that challenging? I have many friends that were very supportive. They made me, they encouraged me to go even more and I wanted to go like the extra. I wanted to do more so I can show them and make them proud for all the support and help they gave me. Mm -hmm. But there's sometimes where there's people that are bad influences and I've had that. And right now I barely got out of that bad, like I barely got out of that bad friendship. But there's people who don't want you to accomplish things and bring you down. But mm -hmm. I believe that if you just keep pulling it through and just never give up and just do more, mm -hmm. I think you can surpass that. And it makes your friends that support you proud. And your parents. <laughs> yes. mm. Okay. What do you like to do when you're not in school? I love reading. I get and you guys already know I love art. <laughs> My face. Um, when I read, I get ideas to draw. I get like I get pictures, and I just pull it, put it all in paper. These emotions, I put it in paper, and I usually give them to my family, friends. But reading, re reading and art is one of my top hobbies. But I have another thing that I love to do. I love volunteering. I love making other people happy because it makes me feel happy that I like went through a person and impacted them. Like the Global Guns program, mm -hmm. I felt so impacted. I helped volunteer for three weeks at a poor community. And they taught me so many things. They taught me that I had confidence in myself. Mm -hmm. And um, they taught me that you shouldn't be, sh be shy about opportunities. You should just go for it. And for Camp St. Andrews, I also volunteer at a camp every year. And we have to go through uh, training in order to become a counselor. And those most of those kids are foster kids. and. They don't really get to experience things like fishing, rock climbing, swimming, even like drawing. And just giving that little experience that I've had as a little like, kid, thanks to my mom, mm -hmm. it, it shows that they're happy and every year they come back. Okay. Your passion is art. Um, what happened? You will study art or you combine your art and another student, another knowledge? Yeah, I use I do use my art in my projects, my like everyday life. It helps me so much. Like it makes I love making people happy. It makes people happy. Like if they need help, I help them with like projects. And I always over like overdo it sometimes. Like I go I go more than what I'm supposed to and usually I get compliments and I feel like just passing that around helps people like want like inspire them. Okay, thank you. Thank you so thank much. You. It was a pleasure. Thank you.